Alright, um, welcome to episode 1 of my C Sharp video programming tutorials. The first thing we need to do is gather the tools we need to program. This link will be accessible in the pro uh, video description. So, it's pretty straightforward click on the link, hit download. I use uh, Mozilla Firefox and pause this video until you have installed and set up your Visual C Sharp Express. Alright, now that you've installed Visual C Sharp Express Edition. <coughs> it is time to explore the IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. Um, so, what you want to do is go to File, New Project, and just for the sake of tradition, tradition, excuse me let's make a hello world application hello world your um, setup may not look like mine is because I have personally well changed my setup but what you see right here is the solution explorer any files that you'll be using in your program will appear here your properties window um, we'll get more to that when we do windows programming because this will be really important follow me over here this is your errors list in case your code does in fact contain errors the error will be displayed in this window it's very helpful and then the toolbox which is unfortunately empty because this is a console program so just follow along and type what I type I'll explain what each thing does as we go on now console dot right line this um, function will print a line to the screen of your program S make sure you have your open parentheses and make sure the um, capitalization is correct because C sharp is a case sensitive language now once you have your open parentheses have an open quote that signifies that we are about to type a string which again will be explained later on we are just you know getting the hang of things seeing what is possible so hello world now move up here so we can run this or you can press F5 now you saw the window pop up um, that's what will happen unless you type console.readline so what I like to do is always just put that at the end the first thing I ever do with the console application so let's try running that again pick your nice little green arrow and would you look at that we have a console window and all with the words hello world printed um, you have just officially become a C sharp programmer congratulations and stay tuned for episode 2 where I will explain what each term I used is <laughs>